I write in a forest. I go in there to do nothing but listen. What started at the Billy Graham Library in 2015 right here in Charlotte, North Carolina, has evolved into a lifelong commitment and journey. Something is always moving through us. It's a calling. These aren't my words. These are the lyrics from Billy's Forest. Chapter number 335, September 24th, 2022, a 48-degree morning. Shocking to the human because I didn't have enough days to prepare for this sudden change. I'm not sure the trees with their leaves did as well. There's an amazing array of green blanketing the beauty of fall's arrival. The shadows seem longer, the sun coming at us from a different angle. I study nature's behavior in the forest like that of a farmer preparing for harvest. One of the things that's sticking out is how thick the deer coats are. It's so early in the season, yet the deer look so full and plump. The squirrels, on the other hand, aren't going crazy with their daily collecting. They seem to be amazingly playful with their bushy tails flying through the skies. They leap from limb to limb, like dangerous daredevils jumping school buses. A time to watch. Every moment is worth listening to. The story is written long before the rest of us catch up. I want to be like nature, to be ready before the change. I don't know if that's always one of the best places to be. I don't want to argue with the writer of September 24, 2022. But if we put a lot of energy into preparing for change and the change does not occur, you're not getting that time back. Maybe it's because I am a full believer in living in what is right now, the present. But to plan for change, my mother used to tell us all the time, save it for a rainy day, save it for a rainy day. Now, I will go with her thoughts on that because my saving it back in the 1980s is helping me out today in 2023. But to prepare for change when we don't have any type of control over the change. You can be ready for something that might happen, but you can't invest the full 100%. I had a big movie promotion last night. I mean, big. We were in two theaters. We were expecting an overflow of people. I had to move through the mental changes of what if too many people show up? How are we going to handle angry people? It didn't happen. Therefore, all of that energy that was required to get ready for that change was really a waste of time. Putting yourself in the moment of now is an idea that really does grow forward because this is who I am. We accept where we are. You are where you are. I don't know why you showed up on this podcast, but I'm grateful. Now, let's grow from it. Let's plant seeds in other areas so that others can learn from what's being shared. It didn't come to me like, oh, you better be listening to me. No. Obviously, before I got here, things had to happen. Methods were put into motion. Accepting change in your right now is your best step forward. I'm Arrow. These aren't my words. These are the lyrics from Billy's Forest.